Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Juan. What about the other ones? Good evening, Victor. Let's check. Good evening, Gabriela. How are you guys? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good to hear that. Right, let's check. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Let's wait for the other ones. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good evening. Hi. All right, everybody. Give me one second, all right? Regálenme un segundo. Ya vamos a iniciar la clase, ok? Solo estoy chequeando uno. No sé si es que hay problemas con la platform or something else, right? Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get started, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you and to have you in class. Today's topic is the topic of section two. Does it have a view? View, vista, all right? Does it have a view? We are in class number three, beginners two. So let's get started, everybody. Vamos a hacer un quick review about yesterday's class. Vamos a hacer un quick review sobre lo que vimos ayer. Y vamos a iniciar con estas questions. La mayoría de ustedes practicaron esto, all right? So it should be easier for you to remember. Por ende, va a ser más fácil para ustedes el recordar cómo hacer las preguntas. So let's see, let's go with, vamos a iniciar con Karen Marisol. Karen, usted pregunta, estas que tenemos aquí con el simple present. Y Carla Melisa Colocho, usted contesta las preguntas, ok? Action. Do you get up early? No, I had a late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time did you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they try to work? Every day. That's correct, excellent girls. Thank you so much. Now, for the ones that are getting into the class, para quienes van entrando a la clase, bienvenidos, right? We were waiting for you, estamos esperándolos. So let's check, ahorita estamos haciendo un quick review un review rapidito, all right? Haciendo, dándole un vistazo al, al contenido que vimos ayer para recordarlo. Y recordemos también que ahora vamos, hemos iniciado la sección 2, right? Ya la vamos a iniciar dentro de poquito. So let's check. Vamos con Víctor Gutiérrez. Víctor, please, léame la structure for yes or no questions y también me lee las preguntas de ejemplo que tenemos.
Do we have Victor? Hola, hola, me falló el inter. Sí, le está fallando el internet, Victor. I think so. All right, don't worry. No se preocupe. Hi, Miss. Hi, Lorena. Hola, me Let me check. Sí, Víctor, le escuchamos. Hola, me escucha. Yes, sir. Claro que sí, le escuchamos. Ok, sería la, la estructura, Víctor, y las preguntas de ejemplo que tenemos. Mm, I think you got issues with the audio. Ok, Lorena, entonces, Lorena Álvarez, please, léanos la estructura que tenemos aquí y también las dos preguntas que tenemos aquí abajo. Uh, simple present question. For yes, no question. Do, does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complaint. Do, do you get up? Early, does he have lunch at noon? Excellent. Thank you so much, Lorena. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Okay, Jonathan, please read this structure. Leame esta estructura, Jonathan. For WH questions. For WH question. WH word plus do or dot must plus subject plus verb plus complement. All right, excellent, very good job. Now everybody, you got those questions. You know how to work them. Ya tenemos esa pregunta, sabemos cómo trabajarlas. Vamos a terminar con esto y luego vamos a una practice, okay? Ayer hacíamos la conversation de Brittany Davis and she's a college student, right? Today we're going to work with Joshua Burns. He's a website designer. He trabaja como un diseñador web, right? So let's check. Let's listen the pronunciation. Escuchemos cuidadosa atención a la pronunciación. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you work? No, how do you do the work? How, how do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8 around 1. Around one, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project, right? Now, let's go with Linda Catherine. Linda, usted va a ser Mike. Juan Diego, usted va a ser Joshua. Action. What do you schedule? A schedule? Like? Como? A schedule? schedule what's your schedule like well i get up at 6 30 a.m and go for a run before breakfast how do you go to work i work at home i start work at eight o'clock around one o'clock i take a lunch break how late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good job. Please, everybody, this is almost the last class of the week. Esta es la penúltima clase. Sí, penúltima clase, right? De la semana. Ya mañana terminamos la clase de la semana. Así que pongámonos bien atentos con esta clase, please. Right? Now, let's go with. Vamos con la siguiente pareja que sería eh, Samuel Isaac, usted va a ser Mike. Katia Canjura, usted va a ser Joshua. Ok, action. Samuel Flores, su micrófono. Penetraba la PC. 
No, don't worry. I don't know. What, what's your sculpture like? Well, I get at 6.30 a.m. and go for around before breakfast. How do you to work? I work at home. I start work at a around one. I take a long break. How late do you work? Something I work at night to finish a project. That's correct. That's Excellent. Correct. Thank you. Now, let's go with the last pair in this paragraph. Let's have Marlon Escalante, you are Mike, Gabriela Molina, you are Joshua. Action. What's your uh, schedule like? Well, I, well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. Who do you go to work? I work at home. I start work uh, at a around one. I take a lunch bed. Who late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Excellent. Okay, Silvia, be careful because está manchando toda la pizarra, Silvia. So be careful. All right, excellent, Gabriela and Marlon. Very good job. Now, everybody, let's check this out. Let's go with the last. Uh, Maya Black, rock musician. Rock musician, all right? Mike, what's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time did you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning, okay? A las cinco de la mañana es cuando ella puede por fin descansar o dormir, right? Let's go with, vamos a tener a Vanessa Bermúdez. Usted va a ser Maya. And vamos a ver. Sí, por aquí tenemos a otro. Carlos Orantes, please. Usted va a ser Mike. Action. What your is true day lane? I work at nine. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. I am. What, what, what do you do? Alf Alter Gore, Alter Gore. I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go good good dog good dog bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Right, everybody, let's keep it up, all right? Don't fall asleep. No se me duerma. Traten de prestar atención a la pronunciation, okay? If you don't focus on pronunciation, it's going to be hard for you, all right? Now, let's go with Carla Melisa. Carla, usted va a ser Maya. Jonathan Burgos, usted va a ser Mike. Action. What you is I should like. I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you What do you do after work? I have dinner 10. I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? 
I go to bed at five in the morning. Excellent, thank you. All right, everybody, let's check this out. Vamos a pronunciar algunas palabras que pude notar que nos costaron un poquito. For example, dinner. Dinner. ¿Cuál otra? Eh, let me check. A schedule. Schedule. Uh, let me see. What else? Creo que fueron las únicas que quizás podrían haber costado un poquito. ¿Ok? Now that we have finished this, ahora que hemos terminado completamente con la sección 1, let's go to the practice. Practice time. Marlon, léame las instrucciones, please. Create. Create three sentences using the following verbs has, goes, does, charge your sentence with the class. That's correct, sir. Thank you. All right. Three sentences using has, goes, and does. Tres oraciones creando, utilizando esos tres verbos. Ustedes ya saben, tomaron en cuenta que estos verbs son los que utilizamos con la third person singular, right? Estos son los irregular verbs que vimos ayer. So, let's work on it. Tres oraciones. Una oración por cada verb. All right, let me know when you're finished. Me dicen cuando hayan finalizado, ¿ok? Quiero escuchar esas sentences. ¿Cómo pronunciamos? I'm down. All right. So tell me, uh, read your questions, please. I mean, your sentences. Um, she has to take the taxi in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he goes to the gym. He goes to the gym. And does he work? Does um, he work? Very good, yeah. I say does and does um equation. Uh -huh. I say the equation uh, using does and equation. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's good. Don't worry, Marlon. Excellent. No, she does not go to school in afternoon. Estoy leyendo la oración de Victor. Mary goes to school, go to school in the morning. Yes. No, she does not. Go to school in the afternoon. No, she does not come. She goes to school. All right. I didn't get regular as a sentence, Victor. 
All right, puede poner no, she doesn't, y de ahí pone punto, she goes to school in the afternoon. Okay, para darle más sentido a la sentencia. <coughs> ¿Alguien más que ya finalizó? I finished. Excellent. Let me hear you, Vanessa, please. She has a new job. She does the laundry on Saturday. She goes to the gym after go work. Excellent. Very good. Very good. She goes to the gym after work. Excellent. Another one. Uh -huh. Juan, let me hear you. Um, my teacher has a beautiful smile. He goes to the gym every day and he does his homework while listening while listening to music. That's correct. Excellent. Very good job. There's no better way in which we can do the homeworks. <clears throat> All right. Excellent. Now let's go with... Do I have another volunteer? Tengo algún otro voluntario o inicio ya a escoger? Excellent. Let me check. ¿Quiénes son los que están levantando la mano? Karen Marisol, excellent. She has a lot of money. She goes to the party every Saturday. He has a beautiful house. Excellent. Very good job, Karen. Thank you. Another one. What about is no funny account? What about Katia? Katia Ganjura. We don't have it. What about Maybelline Carolina? She has a black car. Ajá, Katia, continue. Sí, continue. Perdón, sí. She has a black car. He goes at a gym every day. Uh -huh. She she does exercise. She no does. She does. She does. She does. Uh -huh. exercise. Very good. She does exercise. Very good. She does. Yes, Katia, those sentences are correct, my friend. Thank you. Now let's listen to Jonathan Burgos. Let's hear you, Jonathan. We don't have Jonathan. Okay, let's go with Katherine Parada, please. She has to study, study. He usually goes to the park. He does play soccer. Excellent, very good, very good. Now let's listen to Gabriela Molina, please. <laughs> She does the laundry on Monday. She has blonde hair. <laughs> Lo hice la otra teacher. Ah, qué barba. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Uh, let me check. Those sentences are correct, Gabriela, right? Las oraciones que tienes están correctas. Let's listen to another one. Vamos con Maybelline, Carolina. Ahora sí, Maybelline. Okay. She goes with me to the gym. Uh -huh. She goes to the restaurant. And if anything goes wrong, it's going to be okay. Uh -huh. if, is, if anything goes wrong, it's going to be okay. All right. Very good. Yes, okay. Miss Cisneros. Those are correct. What about Lorena Alvarez? Your microphone, Lorena. Excuse me. 
Michelle, me faltó algo en, <ríe> en la última oración. Ajá, uh -huh, Maybelline, let's listen. Cuando dije, uh, if anything goes wrong, it's gonna be okay. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, all right, don't worry about it. Yeah, that could be good too. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Ajá, uh -huh. Miss Alvarez. No. He has not a house. She does play soccer. She goes to bed. All right. Las últimas dos están correctas, pero la primera, Lea, regreso. He has not a house. All right. House. A house. No. Pero no, ahí no, no se puede, no sé, no sé. He hasn't have a, no. Ahí sería, he doesn't have a house. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right. He doesn't, exactly. Pero no puede utilizar he has. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Está aprendiendo, así que no se preocupe. Este es un tipo de práctica que quiero que todos hagamos porque así sabemos cuándo podemos utilizar un verb y cuándo no. Right? Okay. Now, everybody, so far, do you have a question? Preguntas, dudas, consultas, comentarios. Right? Okay. Now, let's move on. <coughs> Vamos con vocabulary house and apartment, all right? Miren, lo bonito de este idioma del inglés es que llevamos todo en el mismo rango, por así decirlo, el mismo ritmo, ¿ok? Cuando usted aprende un tema gramatical, también tiene que aprender vocabulario, right? Para saber cómo va a poder acoplar ambas cosas. Entonces, ahorita vamos a ver un vocabulary que les va a servir a ustedes. Let's check. Ah, si quieren, se la puedo compartir, Vic. All right. No doy fe que me acuerde siempre de compartírsela, pero cuando me acuerde, se la envío. Ok. Now, eh, let's check. We got house. Tenemos first floor. El primer piso. All right. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, stairs, living room, garage, yard. Déjenme ver, voy a sacar el puntero de aquí. Okay. Now, let's go with second floor. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, hall es pasillo, okay? Stairs, bathroom, bedroom, and that's pretty much it from the second floor. Now, let's go to apartment. We got the bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, elevator, living room. And finally, or the first thing actually is the lobby, all right? Lobby. Now, let's get you into this work, everybody. Let's start with Fanny Marlene, please. Dígame el vocabulary, the first floor and second floor of the house. <coughs> Menciono las palabras que están ahí, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Ta Espera, casi no veo. Voy a ampliar eso, permítame. Déjeme ver si yo no se las puedo hacer más grande aquí. Ya, 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 ya la amplié aquí. Okay. I'll then make it better. <laughs> All right. Um, house, second floor, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom closet, halls, stairs, bathroom. Bathroom, garage, stairs, yard, living room, kitchen, laundry. ¿Cómo se pronuncia laundry? Laundry room. Lo, laundry room. Mm -hmm. um, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, dining room, living room, elevator, kitchen, closet. All right, excellent. Thank you, Fanny. Repeat after me. Apartment. Apartment. Yes, honey. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Muchísimas gracias, Fanny. Vamos a hacer esto más chiquito y luego le voy a dar, le voy a ampliar para que puedan leerlo mejor. Ok, yo digo que sí, hoy sí, así. <coughs> Let's go with, vamos a ver, vamos con Samuel, Isaac, please. Díganme el vocabulario, pero iniciemos. And how, Samuel, me dice 
todo lo que hay en la primera planta o en el primer piso, que sería el first floor, y luego el second floor, ¿ok? Action, Samuel Flores. El first floor primero. Yes, first floor. Uh, dining room, kitchen, living room, stairs, long laundry. Ahora el second floor. Mm -hmm. eh, garage, me faltó en el, en el, en el, en el first. first floor. Uh -huh. Sorry. Don't Bedroom, work. closet, hall, bedroom, bedroom y stairs. Ahora apartment. Apartment, ajá. Uh -huh. Apartment, bedroom, bedroom, closet. Dining room, living room, kitchen, ele, ¿cómo se dice elevador? Elevator. Elevator y lobby. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good, Samuel. Now, everybody, remember dining room, all right? Dining room, dining room, dining room. Laundry room, laundry room. Living room, laundry. living room, all right? Living room. Let's go. Excellent. Thank you, Samuel. Let's go with Gabriela Molina after Gabriela Marlon Escalar. Okay, action, Gabriela. Third floor. Dinner room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, study, garage, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, study, bedroom, bathroom. Apartment. apartment, bathroom, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, lobby. Excellent. Thank you, Gaby. All right, everybody. Antes de seguir, solamente quiero que vean esto, ¿ok? Ya vamos a ir con usted, Marlon. Solo deme un minuto para explicar esto. Ok, la palabra apartment. Literalmente, así como ven ustedes que está aquí, así se pronuncia, apartment. No le ponemos otra A, no decimos apartment porque no tiene otra A, sino que decimos apartment. Lo mismo con dining room. No es dining room, es dining room. Dining. All right. Now let's go with Marlon. Action, Marlon. Well, okay. Thank you. Um, first, floor. Dining room, kitchen, loud laundry, and living room, stars, no, stars, yard, a garage, bedroom, and the second floor, a bedroom, a bathroom, stars, a bedroom, bedroom, closed, hall, and apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closed, kitchen, Elevator, living room, e dining room, e okay. lobby. Lobby. And lobby. Now, uh, Marlon, repeat after me. Uh, ¿Cuál era? Stairs. Uh, stairs. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. Only that one. Thank you. Okay. Now, okay. let's go with stairs. somebody else. Vamos con Juan. Stairs. Okay. Now, let's go with Juan Diego, please. Juan, la misma mímica, ¿ok? First floor, luego second floor y luego apartment. Ok. Uh, first floor, uh, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, uh, living room, stairs, uh, and garage. Uh, second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bathroom, and bedroom. An apartment, bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, elevator, kitchen, and lobby. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Let's go with Karen Marisol, please. <coughs> Same mimic. El mismo ritmo, Karen. All right. First floor, luego second floor, y por último, apartment. First floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard, garage. 
second floor. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bedroom, bathroom. Apartment. Bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, lobby. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. Let's go with another one. Vamos a ver. Jonathan Burgos, please. First floor, second floor, and apartment. Uh, first floor. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, chair, garage, second floor. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, bathroom, bedroom, apartment, apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, living room, elevator, elevator, y lobby. elevator, sorry, y lobby. Excellent, thank you. That's correct. Now, let's go with the last one, the last person, la última persona ya que me practique este vocabulario, Mari. Vamos con Vanessa Bermúdez. First floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard. Second floor, bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stair, bedroom, bathroom, garage. Apartment, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, kitchen, elevator, lobby. Excellent, thank you. And yes, let me check. Ahorita estoy chequeando los mensajes. Tenemos a Carlita que preguntó que es yard. Yard es patio, ¿ok? Si dijese backyard, sería patio trasero, ¿ok? Otra pregunta en cuanto al vocabulary, everybody. For example, que es stairs, son escaleras o gradas. Um, laundry room es el cuarto de lavado. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom es baño. Mm. Yes. Bad. Y bedroom es habitación. Y hall. Hall es pasillo. What is lobby? Lobby es la entrada principal. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good, very good. As me gusta que preguntan el vocabulary. Vamos a ver otra dining room. ¿Qué sería el dining room? A ver. El comedor. Exactly. El comedor. Exactly. Let me check another one. <coughs> Kitchen es cocina, and I think that's all, right? <coughs> Living room es sala. All right, sala o cuarto de estar también. Now, everybody, very good. Let me check. Ahora vamos al questions to practice. Parte favorita, porque ustedes hablan. Let's see. What rooms are in your house? Tenemos tres preguntas. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses of your country? ¿Qué habitaciones hay en las casas de tu país? What rooms are in apartments in your country? ¿Qué habitaciones o qué cuartos tenemos en los apartamentos, en, tienen en los apartamentos en su país? ¿Okay? Directamente estas tres preguntas son del vídeo que ustedes tienen ahí. Yo solo las he extraído y las he puesto aquí para que ustedes practiquen. So let's see. Vamos a ver. Les voy a dar un minutito para que ustedes la respondan en sus cuadernos, para que cuando sus compañeros le pregunten, usted ya sepa qué es lo que va a poner, all right? For example, what rooms are in your house? Ah, in my house we have bedroom, we have bathrooms, living room, or kitchen, yard, if you got the yard, good for you. Uh, we also have a garage, okay, different things. And what rooms are in houses of your country? La mayoría de casas, bueno, no la mayoría, ¿verdad? Hay gente que tiene un montón de cuartos en su casa. Pero las casas simples tienen, solo tienen como tres o cuatro habitaciones, creo yo. All right. 
Entonces pueden hablar de eso. Y los apartments. Where. ¿Ah? Where. Where what? Because in, my, because in my neighborhood only have three rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. For example, I only have uh, the bedrooms, two bedrooms, the kitchen and the living room. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a kitchen. So mm -hmm. it's, in a, it's, a, it's a big living room. <laughs> ah, there you go. So it's mixed. It's mixed. It's not mixed out. <laughs> exactly. In my house, when... In my apartment, I have only two bedrooms. You guys, se imaginan si viviéramos en Corea. Yo un día vi un reportaje de la gente y ahí literalmente donde duermen, comen y están. Oh my gosh. As well, I live in an in apartment, so I remember that I have only two rooms and the, in the And the laundry is a is a front to the bedroom to, to the bathroom. It's, a, it's very small. Yeah, see, compared to Korea, this was a grande Marlon in comparison to Korea. It's a big apartment. Literalmente, le estoy diciendo que la chica estaba sentada en su camita y en su cama tenía escondido todo lo de una alacena normal. O sea, supongamos que ustedes tengan semillas, comida, atunes o algo así. Todo eso ya lo tenía debajo de la cama. Y se paraba y solo se cruzaba un poquito así y ya estaba en el baño. Y en el cuarto de lavado. Todo en el mismo lugar y carísimo. Carísimo de París. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, apartments in El Salvador are way bigger. <laughs> Now, let's check. Yo creo que hoy sí ya tienen sus preguntas. A ver, Fanny, usted le va a preguntar a, a Maybelline Cisneros. Y Maybelline, usted va a contestar. ¿Ok? Action. Hi, Maybelline. What room are in your house? Hi. Um, in my house, we have four bedrooms. Uh, one bathroom, one kitchen, one stairs, um, garage. Okay. What room are in house of... Uy, ay, 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 me salí. Espera, me Encuentro el zoom. Aquí está. What room are ha in house of your country? Um, I guess. <laughs> La mayoría um, creo que tiene dos, ¿verdad? Dos habitaciones. Yeah. Two or three. Uh -huh. okay. Two or three. ¿Cuáles son, Mimi? ¿Perdón? ¿Cuáles serían los más basics? Las habitaciones más basics del sábado. Yeah, two or two or, or three. Uh -huh. Which are? Que serían cocina, lavadero, o qué serían? Oh, uh, uh -huh. uh, kitchen, bedroom, and bedroom. Two bedroom. Bedroom. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are in apart in apartment in your country? Um, apartment, um, one bedroom, uh, mm -hmm. one bedroom, and one kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Now, let's check another pair. Vamos con otra pareja, okay? Lo que yo quiero que usted practique. No tenga pena de que, ay, teacher, no voy a pronunciar bien. Don't worry, okay? You are learning. That's why you're here. Now, let's check. Vanessa Bermúdez. Vanessa, usted le va a preguntar a Marlon Escalante, ¿ok? Marlon, usted contesta. Action. Marlon, what room are in your house? In my house, I have um, three rooms. And one bedroom. Bathroom, I'm sorry. And one kitchen. I don't have a garage. Um, I have a garden and what, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's oh, it. Interest. And what rooms are in house of your country? 
Um, maybe I think that in the in my country, all the house have um, two, two three uh, have uh, three rooms. Mm -hmm. Which are? Que serían cuáles, Marco? Um, three bedroom, uh, the living room, kitchen. Maybe have a garage, um, maybe have yard, uh -huh. and maybe uh, have uh, two flowers. That's it. Okay. And what rooms are in apartment in your country? Um, well, in my country, I think that the apartment is a is a little box because in the box have um one bathroom, one kitchen, one uh I'm sorry, two two bedroom and the, a little living room. Those are the big apartments because Vanessa because Vanessa she said that <laughs> Her apartment is small, right? Yeah, my apartment about, is small. About, Only about, two bedrooms and one bathroom. Uh -huh. Living room I don't have. Yeah, I might. The only the yeah, kitchen when, and living room. When where I live in the apartment, so I have a two bedroom and one, and a, uh, it's a little bit because it's a it's a, it's a is in from because I have uh, the laundry and I have a uh, and uh, the bathroom, so it's a uh, only walk uh, in circle, <laughs> and I have in my in my bedroom and my laundry, so I don't have a um, garage. So I but when I when I wash my my clothes, I didn't chew up the the floor. Uh -huh. I don't know, say, como, como, como sería, en la parte de arriba del edificio. Ah, at the top of the, the building. Yeah, so I, but when I needed to, to wash, cuando necesitaban the... tender mi ropa, tenía que ir a, a, a la parte de arriba, porque ahí son como los tendederos. Oh. Y tenía que estar pendiente de mi ropa, porque si no me lo iban a ganar. Yeah, it happens. That's real life. Yeah. All right. Very good, Marlon. Excellent. You were trying to end your speaking. Ah, uh -huh, Vanessa. ¿Qué sabe eso de ver que le puedan robar la ropa a uno? De hecho, me robaron como tres camisas. Oh no, pobrecito, no. Qué triste, qué barbaridad. Ni modo. Estoy viendo cómo su vecino llevaba su camisa. No, pero nunca lo ocupó. Right. Eso fue, creo que fue inteligente de su parte. Yeah. Para limpiar la ropa. <laughs> ahora, pues, ahora que ya no vio ahí, creo que, como que ya es momento de sacar el nuevo outfit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Usted aprovechó para irse de compras. Very good. That's wise. Eso es sabio. <laughs> okay, guys. There you go. Excellent. Uh, guys, don't forget, don't forget uh, the pronunciation of some words. For example, floor de piso, it's different from flower. Flower is floor. Floor is piso, okay? Now, let's go to a conversation, okay? My new apartment, la realidad de las cosas. Aquí les vamos a ver en esta conversation. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview, on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. In la, in la picture, in la nubecita que tiene aquí la foto, podemos ver cuál es la vista. View is vista. All right, 
¿Cuál es la vista que ella tiene? Porque él le preguntó si tenía vista a su apartamento y ella es como, sí, sí tiene al otro apartamento. Okay. No, de eso sí no me puedo quejar, que tenía una vista espectacular. Really? Porque estaba en el tercer piso, entonces no me tapaba prácticamente. Bueno, más que todo de mi cuarto. Qué no me chico. tapaba nada, ahí sí, no, de eso sí no me podía quejar. Mm, pero cuando caían las tormentas, imagino que sí sonaba fuerte. <risa> no, 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 como no. tenía, ten, eh, no tenía este duralita ni nada de eso, sino que era, era como plata, plafón, creo que le dicen. Uh -huh. Entonces estaba como de concreto, no sé, no, 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 no me molestaba nada. en realidad. Ok, muy bien, excelente. Bueno, Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Fanny. Así en Spanglish. <laughs> Tell me. Para decir, yo tengo una vista, si estoy en un... En altura, sería my view of this, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. My view is, la, la, okay. la, la, y ya lo dice. Ok, very good. Now, guys, let's check this out. Tenemos palabras que podrían ser un poco difíciles. Voy a repetirlas. Guess, no me vayan a decir guess, ok, guess, guess what, luego tenemos apartment, apartment, luego tenemos great, great, uh, vamos a ver cuál otra, ah, Lakeview es el nombre del lugar donde ella está, Lakeview Drive, y vamos a ver, building, no es building, es building, 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 la última palabrita que aparece. Now, let's get into the business. Vamos a poner a Víctor Gutiérrez. No sé si ya le funciona el audio, Víctor. What is guess? Creo que sí, me no escucha. Sí, sí, le escuchamos, Víctor. Guess es cuando usted dice guess what, es adivina qué. Uh -huh. All right. Eh, ok, Víctor, usted va a ser Chris y Kenia, Cor Kenia Corvera, usted va a ser Linda, ok? Action. Ok. Ya puede iniciar. Ok. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On a lovely lake, Lake View Drive. Disculpe, oh, ¿cómo, nice. es, ¿cómo se decía Lake? Lake es, View. Lake View. Sí, Lake View. Lake View, ok. Oh, nice. The final song. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Thank you, Kenya and Victor. Very good job. Now, let's go with Juan Diego. Usted va a ser Chris. Karen Marisol, usted es Linda. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What, what is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, It has a big living room and a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Very good job. Good rhythm and pronunciation. Now, let's go with the last pair. Jonathan Burgos, usted va a ser Chris. Linda, Catherine, usted va a ser Linda. Ok, action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. This is great. 
what is like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. 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 Excellent. Thank you, Catherine and Jonathan. Now, listen, you guys. Let's check this up. I just wanted to ask you something. Solo quiero preguntarles algo. ¿Ya finalizamos la sección 1 completa? No. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 yes Samuel, teacher. Gabriela, Juan Diego. Okay. Esa lección, yes, chicos, girls and boys, <coughs> era para ayer. Ok. No, en serio, tienen que ir al buen ritmo de las lecciones para que no se me queden atrás. Ok. Si a usted le surge una duda, una consulta, un ejercicio que no se le completó bien, puede preguntar ahí en el grupo. Y es probable, si es un error de plataforma o algo por el cual no se lo acepta la respuesta, los mismos técnicos pueden contestar a veces. Y si no, pues en todo caso yo les puedo brindar ayuda también. No, no hay problema, Juan Diego. Está excelente. Si usted va avanzando más, it's ok. Ok, vamos bien. Hasta aquí, chicos, vamos completando bien la parte de la plataforma en cuanto al contenido. Ok, now, eh, sí. Va bien, no puede, puede llegar a las 5 o algo así. Usted, usted sabe cuándo se va a poder tomar su break, ¿ok? De lo que va avanzando. Pero vamos a ver, ya esto sería lo último. Let me check. Solo voy a hacer la lectura de estas simple, simple present short answers, ¿ok? After this, we leave. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Let me check. Hasta esta semana, eh, creo que tienen que finalizar la 1 y la 2, Katia. All right. Now, let's continue. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does the house have a jar? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No nos olvidemos, please. Esto es algo que... Eh, esto es algo que bien fácil se nos puede olvidar, ok, so tratemos de recordarlo, con los pronouns I, you, we and they, utilizamos el do and don't con los pronouns he, she, it utilizamos el does o el does, ok now let's have Lorena, Lorena Álvarez, usted pregunta, Gabriela Molina, usted responde, action Do you live in an apart apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms, bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. And I will see you tomorrow. Mañana es la última clase de la semana. Por favor, no se la pierdan, okay? Bye. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Good, night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, teacher.